Thank you for joining us. I'm Craig Andrus. Jeff and Julia are on special assignment. A new plan today for how to help Wichita's homeless population. City leaders announcing they're planning to purchase Park Elementary School for use as a multi-agency center with homeless services coordination and emergency housing. City Council is expected to start the process at its next meeting this Tuesday with a cost to buy the building for $1. The school will be ready in time to serve as an emergency shelter this winter and could be ready to be used as the MAC by 2026. Some Central County Commissioners backing the plan as well. We're too good to let our most vulnerable citizens sleep in alleys and on street corners. That is not who we are as a community. And what this effort symbolizes is we are going to raise the bar here and serve people that need served the most. Park Elementary is one of six buildings that Wichita Public Schools decided to close at the end of last school year. So what do people who live in the neighborhood near Park Elementary think of the plan? KSN's Derek Lytle visited with parents who say they have mixed reactions to this news. Derek? Well, Craig, I spoke to a woman who's experienced homelessness herself downtown near the school. She also has a student who finished his last day of school at Park Elementary as the doors closed. She says while she sees how this can help the community, it has left a bad taste for those who fought to keep the schools open. The fight to save Park Elementary over, leaving parents reflecting on what's next for where they once sent their kids to learn, adding distrust for USD 259. I was bittersweet because I'm glad that they're going to do something with the building, but I, I still think that they had this planned all along. Leisha Watts attended every meeting to fight for her son's school, needing help before she gets. This move can help unhoused people, but says it can backfire with a lot of kids living near the location. I was homeless, you know, so I have sympathy that way. But at the same time, I know what that happens to an area when you get homeless people that don't care. Having faith, it can provide hope for those in need downtown. I hope that it benefits people. I hope that it benefits people getting their kids back, people getting clean and sober because it's right by a treatment center. Another parent, Amanda Miller, happy to see the school used for good, but echoing they feel blindsided by the school district. On the other hand, it's something that has happened so quickly. And when we were at those school meetings, we specifically asked them what their plans were for the building and for the schools. And they kept giving us answers like, we don't have answers to those questions yet. Watts says her son wants to turn the page and start at his next school, leaving this issue in the past. It does close the uh, chapter for Park for me, but it does not close a chapter for USD 259 because they don't have my trust. Now both Watts and Miller tell me there is concern that USD 259 could close more schools in the future. They tell me many parents are exploring out-of-district options. Here for you, Derek Lytle, KSN News 3. And